We had encouraging news, not only from Moderna this week, but now from AstraZeneca and Oxford, and yesterday Pfizer. How close are we, in terms of timeline, to actually having a vaccine that reaches a, a number of critical people so that there's herd immunity? Well, the first step is to validate the results of these studies and to have them reviewed by the regulatory agencies. That should happen pretty quickly if the data is as strong as it seems that it is. Um, an effective, safe vaccine is really urgently needed because of just the explosion of cases in the United States and also recently in Europe. Uh, I think that if the review goes well, that the doses could be moving by the end of the month or into December. Now, to get to the point of herd immunity, you need a lot of people vaccinated. So that'll probably be into the spring and summer of next year. How much do we know about how long the protection lasts through these vaccines? We don't know very much. I mean, people have been vaccinated for about two months. Um, and obviously, the uh, protection seems, by report, uh, quite robust for that period. But we don't know how long it'll last. Now, we will know how long it will last because the companies will keep following the people in the vaccine, and that'll allow us to get updates about what happens to them. So it's possible that people may need boosters, but, you know, we'll have to see. Uh, I, I think based on what we know about uh, people who've been sick with the virus, it's probably at least a period of, of several months, which, of course, could be still very, very helpful for the pandemic. I mean, is it different because of the type of vaccine? So we could see different results uh, from, you know, between the AstraZeneca one and Oxford one compared to the newer ones, which are, you know, Moderna, Pfizer, because they're RNA type vaccines. Yeah, there are not that many vaccines that are made like the AstraZeneca vaccine either. So I think I think we don't know. And it could be different. And that's why we, you know, keep collecting data to find out. I mean, we're going to have to go sort of one step at a time through the vaccine process. The first step is really making sure that these vaccines have a strong safety record and are very effective. And looking at the data for different uh, signals in different groups for effectiveness, I think the most recent data for the AstraZeneca vaccine was focused on a strong immune response among older adults. We're hearing that the uh, Pfizer and maybe the Moderna vaccines also had uh, very good results for older adults, which is even better than a strong immune response. And, and that's really great because it's older adults who face the greatest risk of serious illness and death from coronavirus.